better grade, the way to a pivotal position in a club, or the way to being successful. Well, yeah, that's why we're here. You see, TF South 101 is here to provide tips, guidance, and reflection, and some reflections upon your time as a student. Sounds interesting. What's the gist? Well, we will cover a wide variety of topics, from classes to current events to even your own goals. Today marks the beginning of our new bi-weekly show. To kick it off, we're talking about... Sounds good. Fill me in. Here at TF South, we have amazing talent. Some of those talents are performing right before our eyes. I'm Gabriella King, reporting with TF South 101, and I'm here at the 2018 TF South Talent Show. Today you'll get a behind the scenes look as I gather some insight of the experiences of some of our talented performers. Here we have Marcus Kennedy as an act of rapping. Marcus, yes, ma known as Marco, what is your inspiration for the talent show? Really just doing it because it's something I take pride in. Music, I just love it. Well, um, I've been doing magic for about four years now and I wanted a little more stage presence, I guess, so I called him up, and he's here, and then this guy helped me two years ago, so I needed him back. Let me talk now. All right. Talk. I've been doing magic for at least six months now. I think so. And he needed a little bit more stage presence, like he said. He needed some personality. Class clown right here, best dancer, so I'm going to bust a split out there and show him why I'm the best. Here we have a singer from the talent show. How about you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, my name is Haley. I'm a junior, and I'm singing. <laughs> so what's your inspiration for singing at the talent show? Um, my mom and dad kind of encouraged me to do this because I would never do something like this because I can't even talk to people in class, so this is a big step for me. So basically I'm like challenging myself to, you know, do something big, basically, yeah. Here we have singer Jenna Harb. She's a sophomore at TF South. And I just want to ask you a couple questions about your experience at the talent show. So what's your inspiration for doing the talent show? Well, I've been singing with my cousin since I was nine. And, um, well, my mom and my dad are my inspiration. I just like singing around the house, and so they just made me want to do it. So you're very experienced with your work. Most definitely. I freestyle every day, write every day. I have actually four mixtapes coming out this summer that I'll be working on. Okay. How are your feelings about competition? Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I see we have a lot of feelings. We have no competition. We are the greatest. This man right here. What he meant to say, um, yeah, all the competition is very um, good, and we're just competing, good. having fun. Good. Um, I, there's a lot of competition. Um, Jenna is a really big com competition person out there. Um, I'm really nervous. But yeah, I, I think I'll do okay. Just need to get the nerves out. Oh, yes, because everybody's really good, and so there's not just one person I'm worried about, it's just everybody. Hi, I'm Trinity. I'm here with Blanca, who is a senior at TF South. And what is your personal definition of being yourself? Um, I think being yourself is uh, being happy with who you are, like having an identity and sticking with it because that's who you want to be. So what is your definition of being you? Being yourself is more like being confident of what your personality is like. It's more that you're very self-determined. You have a definition. You have a look on life that you're going to stick to throughout your whole life. And you're never going to look back on it and regret it. So what is the motivation for it? Uh, for being myself? I would say because it makes you happy. You feel more comfortable when you walk around knowing that the, the, the way you're portraying yourself is the person that you are. And I feel like that just and makes more people uh, be around you, want to be around you. There we go. My motivation is, well, I want to succeed in life. Typically, that's the more cliche way. But I also want to prove to everyone that, you know, I am that I'm worth something, that you have a purpose in life, and no matter how small or how great that is, it's more like a self-driven kind of determination for it. So is it any challenges in facing your peers still using your own personality? 
I feel like actually the biggest problem is not uh, our peers, it's like ourselves. Like we inhibit ourselves from being who we are because we fear what other people are going to think, but really it's just all in our mind. And I know it, it's it's hard, but that's just really what the problem is. It's like our, our own mind, like we don't know um, if we're fitting in or belonging. I say what makes me myself is mostly my determination and my outlook on life. I, when I face a certain problem and I'm interested in it or I have to overcome it, I don't stop until I find the correct solution. I try to find every way possible, try to understand every outlook and just see what I can get out of that and what makes that opportunity the best. So if we know that peer pressure is wrong, why do people still try to tent fit in? Um. People try to feel in because they feel like that's the only way they, they can belong, but belonging is different from fi from fitting in. Um, when you belong somewhere, it's just you feel comfortable where you are, and when you try to fit in, it's like you're putting yourself in a box. So I think people just don't differentiate between belonging and fitting in. So do you like being yourself? I do like being myself. I think it's a lot more opportunities open up when you're yourself and you're honest with who you truly are. You get to get people who truly understand you, you can connect to physic uh, on an emotional level, and then um, opportunities such as jobs that you're actually interested in can open up as well. Thank you, and this was Be True, Be You. Yeah, we'll be planning a lot more topics in the near future. Say, not only are we providing tips, we'll be providing tips and opinions on things you may be interested in. Your ideas are important. Tell us what you want to see. In the meantime, we'll be planning our, our next, next move. move. Wait, did you say you all as in us? Yes, the world is a big place and we need help in figuring out what we should cover next. Your ideas are your key to success. Without them, we're kind of lost here.